Prince Charles and William no longer trust Harry with private talks need a witness. Prince Charles and William can no longer trust Prince Harry with private conversations over fears details will be leaked to friends of the runaway royal. Columnist and broadcaster Dan Witten said Prince Charles and other royals may not want to reconcile with Prince Harry over the phone or other forms of communication. After their trust was betrayed when a private conversation was leaked to U.S. journalist Gail King, Prince William spoke to his brother over the phone after the Oprah Winfrey interview but details were given to Ms. King, who reported the talks had been unproductive. Mr. Wooten added if communication was made then a witness could be made present to make sure Harry or Meghan could not twist any meaning. Speaking to True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat, Mr. Wooten was joined by royal correspondent Katie Nichols and royal photographer Arthur Edwards to discuss the future of the royal family. After the group spoke about Prince Charles's reported two-hour conversation with his sons Mr. Wooten discussed how communication between the three could now play out. He said, as a result of that Oprah interview, and the leaks to Gail King, William and Charles no longer trust that what they say to Harry will necessarily stay confidential and that their words won't be twisted. So the idea is as long as we're there together there's another witness essentially if Harry or Meghan were to leak something to Gail King it could be corrected. Photographer Edwards added that the royal family are still hoping Harry will return to them but urged both groups to move on as they were damaging each other. It was reported Prince Charles. Harry and William had a two-hour conversation after the funeral with Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, playing a role in keeping the peace. The talk would be one of the first face-to-face -face interactions between them since Harry left the royal family in 2020. But the Sun newspaper reported Buckingham Palace is angry with the Sussex camp as details of private conversations were leaked to U.S. press. Biographer Angela Levin added the royal family would be crazy to conduct peace talks with Harry and Meghan for fear details would be revealed to the public. Ms. Levin also revealed there was a frosty reception given to Harry during his stay in the UK with Prince Edward, his wife Sophie and Princess Anne reportedly ignoring the Duke of Sussex throughout Prince Philip's funeral. Peace talks between the camps are now on ice as the family attempts to fix its public image following the bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview. Royal commentators also say that Prince Charles is now quasi-king as he begins to take over more responsibility from the Queen. Royal author Anna Pasternak wrote in Vanity Fair however she could see the topping of the royal family after the Queen passes away. She explains Prince Harry and Meghan have sparked something so incendiary that could threaten the institution. Prince Harry quickly returned back to the US following Prince Philip's funeral and did not stay in the UK for the Queen's 95th birthday. But royal author and editor Amid Scobie wrote in Harper's Bazaar that the prince met privately with the Queen twice on two separate occasions during his visit to the UK.